Okay, uh, hello, hello, welcome to the video. So, as some of you might remember, I put out a community post the other day saying that Gecko and I recently recorded a video on Minecraft together playing some dinosaur themed add on. And all I have to say is, for the only reason I can presume, is because Gecko made me use some different. Uh, D different recording system in the form of OBS Studios when I typically use uh, Wondershare for more as screen recorder. Uh, the audio came out as horrible at some points. As a result, one, I'm recording this video uh, to supplement it because I'm not going to bother uploading it. And two, I am going to be sending Gecko a very special Christmas present this year. I ended up also putting out a poll asking what was the Minecraft add-on you wanted to see me play. Um, a lot of people voted for the add-on Paleocraft, so uh, let's start I guess. I will admit I've played this add-on quite a few times, uh, including more recently, so it's not exactly new to me at all in any way, but it should still do. As far as I understand, it's more of a survival type of map than um, like an adventure or anything. Like I don't think there's a campaign you need to do or uh, like any special missions. Just survive on an island full of dinosaurs. You know, I'll stick the skeleton head on. Yeah, I think the shock prod, that's meant to be, um, I think that's meant to be, uh, the Neverite sword, I believe it's called. It is Neverite, right? But yeah, uh, oh, you have quite a few different Minecraft add-ons from memory. So you could probably play around with quite a few different ones and check them out for the channel. Just ramble about things while playing them. But anyway, um, so yeah, here's the map. For more I know it's a pretty big map, but I don't know how big it is exactly. Oh wow. Hello. Yeah, for some reason the tour cars are invisible. Okay, so we have Europe, Asia, and Triassic. Those biomes. I believe that's... Actually, what are you? I haven't seen you before. Let me hunt you. You dangerous. You gonna bite? Then we have the big boy. I think that's meant to be Camarasaurus. I'm just guessing from the head it's Camarasaurus. Anyway, uh, then we have over here North America, which is where I believe quite a few large theropod dinosaurs are. Like a lot of T Rexes, Spinosaurus, I think you also get Carnotaurus. Maybe Giga? Yeah, I'll help you, buddy. Right, so what to ramble about for this video? I've already done Alien Big Cats with Subnautica because, you know, cats like water. I guess just ramble about dinosaurs then. Right, so what do we have here? So we have going that way to Visitor's Center. Triassic Badlands and then Forest Trail. What are you? What are you? Hello? Can I see your head? That looks like another Camarasaurus. <coughs> I've been slowly well, if I'm gonna be honest, I've barely been working on it. Uh a collaborative sort of live stream with uh, Brutalis uh, on Morrison sauropods and if I remember correctly he's doing Camarasaurus. Uh, meanwhile I have I think I picked Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, Brontosaurus and Marapunosaurus. I know nothing about Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus a little bit about my Punosaurus, and then the most I know, or the one I know the most about because I've been researching it recently for a video, is a uh, Brachiostachosaurus, the Brachiosaurus. Uh, also, 
if uh, any of you can like hear in the background raining or anything, that's because uh, where I live we're meant to get like 20 to 40 mil of rain today. So um, I'm basically going to end up underwater. <laughs> I have not seen 20 to 40 mil in a while. Most of the thing I've seen previously was like, I think, I think only 10 to 20 mil. So to jump up to 20 to 40, that's a bit of a jump. I think there's meant to be like 90 something different species. Is that a sign? Couldn't see. Don't think there is a sign there. And now the rain is starting to pour down. I guess just going on about Brachiosaurus, since that's what I've been researching. If I remember correctly, uh, I believe, uh, I think Brachiosaurus was first described in, no, it was discovered in either 1899 or 1900, but it was later described in 1901 and then further described in 1903. So, it's been around for a while. If I remember correctly, in the 19, late 1930s, I think they even set up a statue or a monument of sorts on, um, the, uh, the mount, the mound where they found it, which I believe was na which I think they named Riggs Hill, after the man who described Brachiosaurus, Elmer Riggs. Go on, I'll shoot you. Where'd my arrow go? Hello? That's not good. I like how he's just slowly walking towards me after I shot him. Boink. Um, yeah, I noticed this with all the different add-ons I've used. They really seem to love glitching. Oh god. He's coming. My bow load now. Thank you, Apato. I can see it is starting to lag out a little bit more. A little bit. I went from just peacefully driving to lag. Just stop start. There's Brack. There's the Bracky. I wonder, is it possible to kill a Brachiosaurus? Oh! I wasn't even near him. <laughs> You're still here. Here. Come on, ride with me. Nah, nah, we go on good ride. We see dinosaurs. Get in the vehicle. Ramming speed. Okay, well, I guess, um, let's go get the stuff. <laughs> but yeah, uh, with the monument mentioned earlier, built on Riggs Hill in uh, honor of Brachiosaurus, according to one of the books I've been reading through, Don Glutz, Dinosaurs the Encyclopedia series, uh, if I remember correctly, oh god. Uh, the monument is misspelt with the name Brachiosaurus being spelt with a Y in replace of the I. I wonder if it's just this general area where it starts lagging out. Because you notice it's affecting me here. But then, once I move further, yeah, there you go. Okay, so it seems to just be this general area, I'm guessing. That looks like Allosaurus, Camarasaurus, Patasaurus. I believe they said this is meant to be Europe. And from what I know, I, I'm not sure about the sauropods, but I think, I think, uh, you did get Allosaurus in Europe. That's just from what I remember of uh, watching my, uh, or uh, making my Allosaurus video. I feel the need to really redo that video. There's quite a few videos I want to redo actually. Looks like a desert over there of some kind. Boing, boing. Gobi Desert. Gobi Desert, that sounds f familiar. Wasn't that where Tarbosaurus was found? I believe that's in Mongolia. I don't think Tarbosaurus is in this uh, add-on though. 
got protoceratops. I believe that's protoceratops. Hang on, does it have feathers? No, it's just its frill. I'm guessing this is meant to be like a female form, and then that's the male. I assume you're meant to be Oviraptor, or a relative of it. That looks like the Jurassic Park Gallimimus. What are you? I'm assuming you're some early mammal. Here, let me introduce you to modern mammal firearms. Oh god. Be gone. I wonder if Fire Like a Leo is in here. That was fun. Oh, what are you? You look big. What are you meant to be? You're meant to be Velociraptor. Or if you are, you're extremely ugly. Did someone kill him? Thank you. Got what well, I'm assuming is Pherazinosaurus, I believe that's meant to be. I'm guessing you're Velociraptor. Or a close relative. Big boy. I feel like I should know the name of this one, but I'm not sure what it is. Someone please let me know in the comments. I have the feeling to say Ineosaurus, but I do not believe it's the right horn shape. A uh, horn shape for a uh, Ineosaurus. I think the developer of Paleocraft, I believe his name's Compicraft, I think he came out with more uh, expansions. I think he did one with Nigel Marvin. Uh, and there's another one. I think he's coming out with one soon called Claws. And there's something else. I think it was called Dinosaur Survivors. Be interesting to check him out. Who knows? Maybe I'll get him for Christmas and do a video on him or something. But uh, so far, my Chris, my Christmas, <laughs> my Christmas wish list is uh, full with books. I like I like using books for videos, so I'm happy to get more. I wonder what's that way. Hmm. Enemy spotted. Something to hunt. I take it this just leads out to the open ocean. That looks like kelp over there. I don't know if I want to go out into the open ocean. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. We'd, we've gone subnautica mode. Okay. That's either the world... Ow. Okay, for some reason it still can me as being underwater. I feel like I need a boat. Oh, squid! If I'm gonna be honest, I really hate this right now, but I'm, I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh, you look like you're gonna kill me. I really badly want to go out there now. But I don't like this blindness stuff. Like, just short distance. This is one of the things that's just, um... Like, I don't even know why I play Subnautica. <laughs> Because I hate that short distance, like not being able to see what's in front of you. Because I just keep imagining like a Reaper Leviathan, or in this case a Mosasaur just coming out of nowhere. And uh, next minute I'm dead. Gonna have to get a kayak and come back here and then just go out. Go out in search of prehistoric survivors. Oh yeah, that's actually a book I ended up getting recently. Still in Search of Prehistoric Survivors by uh, Dr. Carl Schuker. Uh, I would say it's been an interesting read. Like, uh, parts on, I think it's Cadborosaurus, I believe it's called. One thing I found interesting about Cadborosaurus, which is said to be like some sort of giant um, sea serpent-like monster around... I think it's Canada and uh, some lower parts of the United States. 
Uh, one of the things I found interesting was I believe he said it was actually um, said to have some sort of seasonal um, migration route through the area uh, at a specific time, according to one study uh, analyzing reports of Cadborosaurus. So, for me, it does make me wonder, like, what if it is an actual animal? And uh, like I remember Shuka pointing out, uh, it would be good to actually like set up some sort of um, study or like a investigation around that time in said area where the migration route is, and uh, check it out. That's one of the things I like about cryptozoology. All right, I mean. You see people say, we found all the megafauna, we found all this, but for me it is one of those cases of like, how do you actually know? Like, the, the true scientist knows that he's not going to know everything. So wouldn't it actually make sense to go out in search of some of these animals? But no, the modern scientist is just like, oh, it's a trick of the light, it's this, it's that, native invention, uh, X, Y, Z, something, something, blah, 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 uh, misidentification. Like, well, as an example, the one that gets me is, um, alien big cat reports in Australia. Like, you have these animals, are uh, believed to be either, like, pumas or even jaguars or leopards. And for me, it's, well... Those things could take a child if they want to. Like, from what I know, over in America, mountain lions really love children. They love to take children because they're small and they can't really defend themselves. So, wouldn't it make sense to actually go out in search of a possible invasive population of pumas or leopards or jaguars in Australia? But no, let's just, uh, let's just blame feral cats for the sightings. I don't even know where I'm going, I'm just wandering around uh, rambling aimlessly. Another one I would also like to see is, um, or another one I'd like to uh, see people actually go and search for is, I think it's the Queensland Tiger. I believe I've talked about this in the Subnautica video I did. Right, this X, this, uh, from what I know, it's believed to have been either Phylacalia or Short Face Phylacene. Um, and for me, it's like, well, Sightings have dropped off since the 1950s, I think it is. They've dropped off significantly. So it's one of those cases of, um, well, if that if it's still around, it might actually be on the brink of extinction. So wouldn't it actually be good to go out and search for it and go out and search for it and try and find it just in case it is actually still alive? Or would you like to uh, just sit back thinking, oh, it's just some native invention by the local aboriginals or misidentification of tiger quolls, when really, for you know, we might be on the, we might be on the brink of losing a large predator in Australia, or, or the largest predator since Phylacaleo. Well, that's if it's not Phylacaleo. Right, but you, you get what I'm saying. I'd like to go out in search of some of these cryptids myself if I'm gonna be on if I'm uh, gonna be honest. For me I would say one of the ones I or well, a couple I wanna go out very much in search for is uh the alien big cats, the Queensland Tiger, and uh there was another one I was thinking the Macaulian Bembe, the uh, reported sauropod of the Congo. But, um, from what I know, uh, it ended up being horrible for the actual people who went on the expeditions. Like, there was one guy, I think his name was William Gibbons, I think his name was. Or Henry Gibbons. Apparently he lost something like 23 kilos, I think it was. So that's like 44 pounds. No, that's actually, I think, closer to 50 pounds. Or a bit over. Right, but he lost f that much in weight. Um through chronic diarrhea and um, something else, some other, something else that infected him. But yeah, uh, I don't feel like uh, losing a large chunk of my body weight uh, for just um, myself. Guess we could spend the night here. Shut the gate. I don't want to get eaten. Oh, what's in here? 
I wonder what sort of loot there is. Run flesh. Oh god. Run. Get a little far back. Can you make it out? Oh, that's concerning. I think over here is also another base. I wonder, can I hit him from here? Of course, he just has to move out of the way. I've killed larger ones than you, mate. Don't mess with me. Proceeds to miss every single shot. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Oh no. Is that the Jurassic Park roar? Right, uh... Let's just collect all these arrows. I remember trying to play this with Gecko, but if I remember correctly it just, um... Ended up being horrible to try and play. Should you not give me those arrows? Ow! What are you? Oh, hey! Back. It's just something so relaxing about playing Minecraft, and then you get hit by a Velociraptor. I wonder what's that flying up in the sky. I don't really know much about pterosaurs. So we have Asian Desert, Herbivore Plains, East Dock, East Dock, Hunter Camp. Okay, so that's my house. Let's head over to the dock, see what's over there. I take it these are going to be, yeah, boats. Boat. Boat. Why is it lagging? <laughs> oh, there's islands. I wonder if there's going to be, like, loot on them. can't remember if there's meant to be a Mosasaur uh, of any kind. I think Tylosaurus and Mosasaurus might be in this game. But I'm not sure about some other Mosasaurs, because... Uh, there were more Mosasaurs besides just um, Mosasaurus itself and, you know, Tylosaurus. Um, what are some other popular ones? I think Tylosaurus and Mosasaurus are the only real popular Mosasaurs. I don't know if there's, like, any minerals uh, scattered on the map. Or, like, under the ground. Like, iron ore deposits or anything. So, I don't know if I could, um, build anything. Or... Uh, get iron armor. I think I tried mining once and uh, nothing. You know what, I want to shoot you, one of you. Take aim. That will do nothing. I wonder if there's like cows or sheep, or if the sheep and cows been replaced by something. I will shoot you. Stay back. I told him to stay back. God bless the Second Amendment. Yes, I know it's not a gun. Ew, what are you? I'm guessing that's either Baryonyx or Suchomimus. Hello? Saplings? Okay, got one. Always go make sure to replace it. Remember, sustainable future. What are you? You look like, um, some sort of Nodosaurid. Although, in saying that, I'm pretty sure Nodosauridae has been, um, split up into, like, three or four different clades now. Actually, no, I think they... I think there was a study this year that placed Ankylosauridae as remaining valid, but then it split Nodosauridae, for some reason, into three different groups. I can't remember their names. If I remember correctly, the complete dinosaur, second edition, is coming out next year. So, uh, it'll be interesting to what that... 
Bug off, bug off. Oh, for the love of God. I wonder, can I just place a boat and get him trapped? Okay, he has moved off. Let's try and trap him. Hello, sir. Here, does this rag smell like chloroform? No, head to the boat. Yes! You're mine now. Just spam the arrows until he dies. Does it have... I thought it had three fingers on each arm for a second. How many arrows does this take? That took... A while. Alright, now what was I going to do? Oh yeah. Boom, boom. Pick. And then, boom, boom. Ho. Then, machine there. Okay, where are you, prick? No respect. Just no respect for your fellow Minecrafter. Alright, let's see how far this goes before we reach, um... Stone. Oh, okay, so there are iron. There is, like, iron placements. Okay. Pretty cool. I think it might be worth, like, yeah, building up the base a bit. Alright, let's get some stone. Okay, yep. Now we got what we need. Then we can mine the iron and smelt it. Oh, there's another bit there. I'll just get this first. 14 bits of iron from that one bit. Damn. That's pretty good. Don't have any coal right now, so... Gotta use... Wood. Actually, no, that's not gonna be enough. What are you? You look like the Sukumimus from Dinosaur King. Don't you roar at me, you off-brand dinosaur king looking bastard. And don't you hit me either. I'll hit you back twice as hard. So anyway, like I was saying, has anyone seen that that Pauline Hansen's Please Explain Minecraft video? That was... That was definitely an r slash how do you do fellow teens moment, as far as I see it. Just like, what were they even thinking? How do we teach the kids about how it's very hard to move to renewable energy? I know, Minecraft is popular. Let's use Minecraft. I see you. I see you. Bonk. It was a Rex. <laughs> Thank God I killed that quick, eh? Hey? Oh, a raptor. What? Did they just like casually spawn in here out around here? Just walks in like he owns the place. Right now, what do I need to make more fences? Place you here. You gotta be kidding me. Is this what it's like for people to live in Ohio? <laughs> oh, 
Oh no wait, he's killing off the raptors. I'll kill him off though. From one of his two versions of Spinosaurus in here, you have the one here, the Jurassic Park free design. Then you have um what's it called? Uh, the accurate one. Come on. Die already. How much health? How I'm down to three arrows. I need more arrows. <laughs> Wonder, can I get any? Can I get any seeds so that way I can start making like wheat? Actually, hang on, don't I have bones? Yeah, tons of bones. If I remember correctly, bone meal. And then I think you can just bone meal the dirt, can't you? Yeah. Lovely. Now let's destroy it. Is this like an old, older version of Minecraft strategy I'm thinking of? Nope, got some seeds. Oh, we're getting lots of seeds. All four of them. <laughs> what did it say? So we have Asian Desert. Herbal Plains. I think we need to go this way. Because, just from my experience in playing, uh, there's, there's a place on the map where you can get a lot more arrows. I think two, maybe three stacks. And I'd like to have some more ammunition. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to try and melee attack a Tyrannosaurus. Ooh, para. Para, para. Monkey, monkey with massive testicles. From one who was built more like a cow. Not like whatever that is. Like. From what I know, Dinosaur King's design in its posture is better. That's um, what's it called Tosantosaurus or Santosaurus, something like that. North America, European jungles. Let's go to North America. And then I think there's meant to be like a lab complex. Oh, the rain is now pouring down a lot more. But yeah, for moment, really there's meant to be a lab complex. Jump! Hey, I made it across. <laughs> a lab complex, and then some other place. What's here? Tour boat. Pretty sure. Nah. Don't think we'll need it. Packy, Cephalos. Or was that Stiggy Malak? I think that was Stiggy. If I remember correctly, uh, what's his name? Red Raptor Rights did a video on uh, the whole thing of Stiggy Malak, Draco Rex, and Pachycephalosaurus, and whether or not they're actually, um, uh, just the same animal or not. I think he came to the conclusion that they're most likely the same, but I can't remember exactly. Hmm. I had fun doing the, um, podcast episode with him. I need to get someone else on for the next one, but I'm not sure who. I'm thinking... I'm thinking Raptor Chatter. I don't want to do Edge because I think he'd probably be sat there like, oh, I'm too popular for someone with two and a half thousand subs. From what I know, he can be really rude. Or at least from what I've heard about Gecko telling me about him, he's pretty rude uh, off off of YouTube. So I don't think I'd really want to um, talk with him. I mean, who knows? He might want to, but I'm not sure. That looks like Edmontosaurus or close relative. Yes, lab complex, geothermic power plant. Well, getting back, I guess, to what I was originally talking about, way at the beginning of this video, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Brachiosaurus. As some of you might remember in the community post I made, I've also started a collaborative channel with a couple um, friends on Discord, Nature Enjoyer and Sebi, a dinosauroid. So, uh, gotta get to work on that alongside the stuff I'm doing with Brutalis. So, very busy right now. If I remember correctly, we're working on a video on T Rex. I plan for it to. 
Well, I remember Nature saying that uh, he wants it to... Don't mind with a diamond sword, you moron. That uh, he wants them to be... They wants the videos we're making for the new channel, for the collaborative channel, Tanri, to be, um... Like, uh... Like my videos, in terms of being pretty long and in-depth. So, there's a lot of research that needs to be done for that video. Mortal bread, yay. Wooden sword, you trash. I'll take it anyway. Trident. Now can skewer peasants. This ain't the right way. <laughs> I'm getting lost. Lost, I say, lost. Uh, if I remember correctly, gotta be somewhat careful because I believe kind of Taurus spawns at some point around here. I could be wrong. I think there's a Triceratops wasn't there. Yep. Good old Trikey boy. God, there's so many videos I've been meaning to do or get back to. I mean, just going off of it all, right? I had. I remember having to do a Triceratops video, but I think I ended up ignoring that. Kodiak bear video as well. Uh, and then there was a couple others. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a jaguar video as well. Oh, there's so much. Did that triceratops just change colour or are there two of them together? Oh yeah, there are two together. One was inside of the other. I'll stop. What are you? Something chasing me. <laughs> Still chasing me, buddy? No, they've gone to take on that poor hadrosaur. Now, let me guess, there's gonna be a Gigantosaurus that spawned. Nope. Wait. Oh, don't kill me. Probably should have regenerated beforehand. Oh, what are you? Well, you can fly, that's for sure. An endangered species. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll let him live. I'll let him. So anyway. What are you? Do you eat anything? Can I tame you? Or are you an adult? I shall name him the Red Baron. Why is it grey? That looks disgusting. <laughs> I am assuming I'm going to uh, die as soon as I wake up. I didn't die. Right, so... I guess we build up a bit more of a fence around the place. I do have an axe, right? Yep. Axe. Rain is starting to pour down a little bit more, but it doesn't sound too, too heavy. What the hell? Okay, weird. Can I break it with this? Yeah. Okay. Is the axe corrupted or something? I take it it must be. Okay, that axe can just stay there, I guess. What are you up to, mate? Just chilling. Uh huh. Right, let's head over here and start chopping down trees. We must increase carbon emissions. Let us begin the killing of the planet. Next minute there's probably going to be some angry um, environmentalist watching who's going to be like, You can't say that! Climate change is a real issue that we must worry about! 
And yeah, I understand. Okay, fine. But you gotta have a bit of a laugh. Honestly, to a certain extent, I'm starting to just be sat back thinking like, isn't half this climate change bullshit just um massive scam? I mean, like as an example, Just Up Oil, they go on about being, oh, we must cut down carbon emissions because we're going to be the last generation and all that. And then after us, everyone's going to die. Yeah, if I remember correctly, they're actually funded by oil companies. So who are they to speak about this being some massive issue we must worry about? Or another one I love where it was, um, <laughs> they were trying to shut down this guy, stop him from transporting this oil because oil pollution, blah 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 blah. And that's where he just went oh so calmly, yeah but that's cooking oil. Do these people not have a life? There we go. Now we can start building up a bit more of a base around this place and uh, get a bit more safety. Now I don't need to worry about angry Dromaeus swords. You know, like Trump said, we need to build a wall. We must keep out all the Mexicans. I don't think this is going to be enough. Yeah, nah, it's not going to be enough. Mm. <laughs> well, hey, it's a bit more of a defense than the previous incarnation. Honestly, some of these add-ons can be pretty fun. I remember there was this one I used to play a lot. Uh, I think it was called something like Safari Park or Safari Adventure. Should play that as well. But you just start off at like this um, safari base in Africa, and it's again a survival world, and there's just a lot you can do. Oh, please don't tell me this one's infected as well. Just heard someone go by on a motorbike. I guess they're having fun. Ah. I forgot you can't jump over the fences. Let's at least try to get this wall closed off. What are you? Fire! <laughs> Imagine if I hit him. <laughs> Missed. Pew! Let me hit you. This has gone from me talking about cryptids, Brachiosaurus, to now me just shooting at Tyrannons. And the wandering trader just doing his thing. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I think you're meant to be like a compy or something. Oh well. You die. Why can't I hit him? What, can't you get over? Haha, -ha, I have trapped you. You fool. You clearly do not know the superior ways of being a human. Alright, well, I think that was pretty fun to do. Uh, I think I'll head off now. Let me know if you want me to continue, I guess. But for now, I think I'll just play this on my own, unless uh, you want to see more CompyCraft or PaleoCraft or whatever it's called. Who knows, maybe th uh, in the next episode, <laughs> I'll come back and just be like, okay, so I did a little mining off camera, and all you see is just this massive, like, 50-story tall fortress. But uh, anyway, for now, um, all I have to say is uh, I'll see you next time I upload. Uh, the next scripted video should be on uh, alien big cats in Australia, because that's what I'm into at the moment. Uh, and it'll be on the theory of whether or not mega ferals are behind it. So uh, stay tuned for that, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next time I upload, and if you, hopefully you uh, liked, shared, and subscribed. Goodbye.